I forgot to bid for September. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the line I got is so ugly. Stay tuned. I'm on the plane and I guess we're waiting for our third flight attendant. She is coming in from a flight from Phoenix and I guess it's running a few minutes late. So the ops agent was calling, scheduling, probably to see if they could find or send us an airport standby to help board the flight. So today we're doing three and we end up in Ontario, California. I think it's about a nine hour duty day, new shoes, they're doing okay so I'm hot but we're gonna get this day started and head first to Seattle then honestly I don't remember where and then to Ontario California all right update time RB was coming in from Phoenix and got diverted to uh, Amarillo Texas so they're gonna find us another flight attendant I called, tried to get my position switched and couldn't. But rumors were on a ground stop in Denver because of weather, so we'll see what happens. We're just rolling with the punches. It is what it is. All right, so we're in Seattle. I was eating a quick snack, and we're going to San Jose. We left Denver about one hour, exactly one hour late. Um, looks like right now, knock on wood, we're going to make up almost all but 15 minutes of that. So it's supposed to be a 20 hour overnight. Ooh, ooh. And it looks like it's only 1942 right now. Not too bad. So we're going to load up, head to San Jose and then head to Ontario. Well, we made it to Ontario. I think we only ended up being about 30 minutes late considering we left an hour late that's not too bad and found out we were one of the last flights to get out of denver before they had a ground stop for weather again so that's awesome we had such a great crew today we had amazing pilots that we actually got to keep for three legs i am hungry i'm gonna eat my dogs are barking for you youngsters that means my feet hurt <laughs> So I'm gonna get changed and, oh, we had a medical, so I'll fill you in. Can we start off by saying I spilled soy sauce all over myself? So, oh, for this vlog, I'm gonna be covered in soy sauce. But let's talk about today. About 35 minutes before we were landing in San Jose, we had a woman that the A, she she hit her call button and the lead flight attendant, she was in row, this woman was in row five, went up to see what was going on. <clears throat> and I could tell, um, so she went up and talked to her and then she came back and then she went back to talk to her and I could tell that something more than just, she just didn't have just a question. And so I was kind of watching the A and then the A looked back to the back galley where I was and I could tell something was going on. So I just went down the aisle and found out that she was helping a woman who was having a panic attack. She had ang she has anxiety and she checked her anxiety medicine. Never check your medication. That's tip number one. Um, so the A was trying to like talk her through things, you know, where are you going? Like, why are you going there? And <clears throat> she was actually gonna be going all the way with us to Ontario. And she also had asthma, so the anxiety attack that um, was causing her asthma to kind of flare. 
And so I, she asked me for an ice bag so she could like ice the back of her neck because she was like getting all hot and flush. So I brought her an ice pack, an ice bag I made up for her. And then I asked if she wanted the oxygen tank and we agreed that yes, let's get her the oxygen tank. So we um, turned the oxygen on, put the mask on her, the A flight attendant did and started administering oxygen. So the A was just really trying to help her concentrate on her breathing and to take good deep breaths and not shallow breaths so she didn't pass out. <clears throat> and so I let the captain know, I let the other flight attendant know in the back and basically we moved her to the front row so that we could talk her through her breathing while we landed. And then the paramedics met the flight and um, checked her out, made sure she was okay. And they actually cleared her and let her come back on the plane to continue on to Ontario. It was only uh, 52 minutes from gate to gate from San Jose to Ontario. And actually she did really well. So we have paperwork to fill out. Yay. Good thing we have 19 and a half hours. So that was day one of this PM block. Not too bad. <clears throat> um, I forgot to bid, like I mentioned in the very beginning of the vlog, forgot to bid. We were on vacation and I just didn't think about it and I got a really ugly line. So it's in the A position, which I don't like to do. And <clears throat> it's a rotating line, which means you're not working like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <clears throat> every, um, it's not the same every week. It's a rotating line. So some of them are weekends and then you have a couple days off and it was six trips in September. Ugh. So I put it out there in one of our Facebook groups and asked if anyone would be willing to trade, if they could hold PM reserve for the month of September, I would trade them for my board. Because some people have the time and are willing to manipulate and they could manipulate this, this, this line that I've got, this schedule that I have and make it work for them. I don't have the time, especially in August. I've got open houses for kids, kids starting school. I just don't have time to manipulate it. So all that to say, I was able to find someone to trade with. So hopefully that trade works out. We can trade on the 19th of August and then I'll have September all fixed up. So that's the plan right now. The plan right now is for me to watch Lost and what time is it here? Ooh, it's 11.35, watch some Lost. My feet are hurting a little bit from my new shoes and go to bed, sleep in, get some stuff done tomorrow. Rinse out my sweatshirt. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Ah, uh, 20 hours and then we have two flights today, two one hour flights, probably under an hour and that's, that's, the flying today. I'm excited. Easy. Knock on wood. Easy. So I'm going to chill here, probably watch some more Hulu and do nothing. So because I'm recovering from vacation, but food is in order. Got to figure that out. drink it though. All right, so made it to Orange County and I ordered some street tacos and a margarita. So I'm gonna go downstairs and pick that up. Look, I got the soy sauce out of my shirt. 
Yay! I was able to rinse that out. So we had a little bit of drama. I didn't realize today we were two flights. Um, we They were under both under 250 miles, so right now we're not serving on those. So it should have been super easy, but we had a little bit of drama. Let me go get my food and I'll come back and I'll share the story. Well, I ended up meeting my crew downstairs, so I ordered my food to go. And I went down there and saw my crew was down there. So I got my to-go food and ate at the table and had a couple of beverages. I had two margaritas. One margarita, two margarita. Two margaritas with my crew. It was so nice having um, drinks with crew. It's just such a nice thing. Kind of brings life back to normal. So drama story. This should have been such an easy day. Um, it was an easy day. Literally two flights under 250 miles. And so that means we don't serve. We just sit. We're there in case of emergencies. The first flight out of Ontario to Vegas. This woman kind of, she totally gets into it with our A, with our lead, about bags. If you sit with a bulkhead with no one in front of you, then all of your luggage, everything has to go into the overhead bin ahead, um, above you. You cannot stick your bags underneath the seat. That belongs to the person in row two. Even if the person in row two is fine with it, you know, I just don't want to set a precedent so that someone comes on a plane and is like, well, the last flight attendants let me do it because that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, is someone not wanting to enforce the rules and then it comes back to bite another flight attendant down the line. So, oh, I have to fill out paperwork about that. Not fun. I have to fill out a form. So all of the people around this woman totally agreed with how they were telling my A she was doing a good job and all that jazz. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely feeling my margaritas. I'm going to get ready for bed. Go to bed. It is, let's see, it is 12 14. Tomorrow I have to be in the lobby at 2. Um, all of us have different times for the van. I don't have to be at the airport till 2 50, but I just felt that. But the van here only leaves at the top or on top of the hour and the bottom of the hour, and I just didn't feel like 20 minutes was quite enough time to get dropped off at the curb get to the gate. So I'm going to go early, which will be nice. So I'll have time to get coffee. So that's what's happening. Day two was relatively easy. Tomorrow um, is another nine hour duty day. Three flights back to Denver. I think we go to Phoenix, Portland, then Denver. That's the plan. So I think these are double beds. I did have, <laughs> I had a tape measure in my bag for a while but I'm tired and the alcohol is what's making me tired. So I'm going to take advantage of that and go to bed or watch Hulu or Netflix. I'm not sure. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So I'm already up and dressed, um, had some coffee, had a breakfast burrito. It is, let's see. It's almost 1.30, I need to go down and order a quesadilla for the road. Um, I'm doing a two o'clock shuttle, but on the phone with my husband, just chilling, hanging out. They're doing some sort of like dance lesson down by the pool. So that's kind of cool. I just, I didn't want to go out. <laughs> Again, I'm on vacation recovery mode. That's why I picked this trip and had nice overnights. Um, yeah, so today is go home day, three to Denver. I believe we go Phoenix, Portland, Denver. And somewhere along the way, we pick up my A who got separated from us last night. Did I tell that story? That there was me, the C, and the A. And when we got into Vegas, for some reason, they decided that she needed to go on a different flight because she was going to not make our original flight, because Orange County has a curfew, meaning everyone has to land, I believe before 11 p.m. local time, I think that's the time, and otherwise your airline gets a hefty fine. So we had to be wheels up by 9.45, 
but it wasn't the flight attendants they ultimately were actually waiting for. We were waiting for a first officer. So I don't know why they pulled my A and like disrupted everyone's day. The A I ended up with coming here to Orange County was literally done and supposed to have a 16 hour overnight in Vegas last night. So she wasn't super happy that she got pulled, but I don't know, some, some, some point today I catch up with my A or my A catches up with me. It's been crazy out there this summer. <clears throat> I'm ready for the fall. I'm ready for the kids to go back to school so that maybe travel will slow down just a little. So, all right, I'm gonna go down and order a quesadilla. Let's do this thing. I should not be this tired. <laughs> so my A went to see if our plane was there. My original A got all rerouted and now she just gets to deadhead home. So I'm happy for her. Maybe she'll be able to catch a flight home tonight. I don't think so, but so we're just killing a little time. I ate my quesadilla. It was good, very good. And two more to go. All right, so seriously, that trip, like I was that one house in a tornado that remained standing while everything around me turned to rubble. <laughs> it was crazy. Three days, I didn't get changed, rerouted, anything, but everyone around me got pulled, rerouted, all kinds of craziness. So it was crazy, it was just nuts. So my A, she ended up not rejoining us. And so I think I ended up having, I was the C on this trip. I think I ended up having four A's and three different B's. So it was, <clears throat> it was an interesting, interesting trip to say the least. I'm home. It's the morning after I'm out on my deck. I just wanted to check in and say thanks for watching and yeah we'll see what next weekend holds i know it's just been crazy out there um, i'm really ready for um, school to start everywhere so that travel will calm down a little bit um yeah i'm looking for a little bit of a dip in the action yep i think myself and my other cohorts not just at my airline but at a lot of airlines need some need some relief <laughs> so luckily for us we are we had our first in-flight class graduate and they're online meaning they're flying for the month of August and then we have I think one class going through right now which is only about 52 people and then at September they're gonna be able to start running double classes so hopefully they'll be able to get some new people out there to replace the people who took early retirement and we'll just be able to get our staffing in a better place. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the sky.